verse 42 to 47. That is again where I want to read and bring the message, creating an environment for spiritual growth. We need to create an environment for spiritual growth. Acts chapter 2, to the summer katika Swahili, I will read with this English version again. Matendo ya mitume, mlango ni wapili, mstari ni arubaini na mbili, hadi arubaini na saba. Acts chapter 2, verse 42 to 47. The NIV version that I have in a summer, they devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching and to fellowship, to breaking of bread and to prayer. Everyone was filled with awe at the many wonders and signs performed by the apostles. All the believers were together and had everything in common. They sold property and possessions to give to anyone who had need. Every day they continued to meet together in the temple courts. They broke bread in the homes and ate together with glad and sincere hearts, praising God and enjoying the favor of all the people, and the Lord added to their number daily those who are being saved. Na sote seme amen. Mungu wetu na baba wetu kwa jina la Yesu Kristo na kwa uwezo wa Mtakatifu. Naja mbele zako kwa shukrani Jumapili ya leo Asante kwa kila moja ambayo umemjalia kuingia Kwa hii ibada ya hema ya kanisa letu Naomba kwamba pate sehemu yake katika mkate huwa kiroho Ambao umeweka mbele zetu Asante kwa watoto wetu Asante kwa vijana wetu wavlana kwa astana Asante kwa kina mama Asante kwa wanaume Wabarikiwe na wewe Na ni kwa jina la Yesu mokozu wetu tumeomba Na tuseme amen. amen Creating an environment for spiritual growth Kile ambacho nimesoma Ni neno ambalo linatokana Na jambo lililo fanyika Na lile linalo itua kanisa la kwanza Glory Baptist Church Or any other existing church today Uwe ni kanisa gani, uwe ni gani, the year 2022 of the Lord. Wewe sio kanisa la kwanza. Kanisa la kwanza lilikuwe po. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Wakati Bwana Yesu alipo ingia kaburini na akamaliza siku tatu. Na siku ya tatu maandika ya nasema jumapili asubui na mapema. Akina mama maria magdalene. Pamoja na mariamu mama wa Yesu Na wa mama walio mpenda Yesu walienda asubuhi na mapema Angalau oweze kuweka marashi kwa mwili wa Yesu Biblia inasema the first day of the week Walipata kaburi limefunguliwa liko wazi Na alie ndani ametoka amerudi kwa baba yaki Walipo kwa wanasema ni kitu gani kimetendeka Katika hiyo hali ya mashaka na nini Malaika Gabrieli ambaye ndiye the messenger of the Lord Yeye ndio huwa anatumwa kuleta ripoti za Mungu hata sasa Akaleta habari ya kusema hayupo hapa tena amefufuka Praise the name of the Lord Jesus is alive Na kuanzia saa hiyo yeye akasema inendeni mkawaambie hata na wale wengine kwa sababu mitume walikuwa wamejificha kwa sababu ya ile dhiki ilikuwa imetokea Wakawa pia hawamekaa kina Petro wamekaa mbali Wakaenda uko Ripoti kawafikia kwamba Mwokozi wetu Yesu Hayuko kaburini tena Hayuko miongoni mwale wamekufa Hamefufuka yuko hai Petro na Yohana the book of John records Walikimbia mbio Na the Bible records very well in the book of John Walipo kwa wanakimbia Walienda mbio lakini ule mdoka Kashinda mzeo Na ikiwa Peter was older Na John was a bit younger Walipo walienda mbio, lakini kufika kwa kaburi, Yohana alikuwa kwanza kuingia pale mbeni. Nae Petro pia kaingia. Na wakaambiwa the same same message. 
Haitaji kutafutwa kwa hivi tambaa na hizi nguo ambazo alikuwa amewekwa ndani yeye ni zaidi ya hiyo you hai you hai you hai ten walitoka pale na hiyo habari wakaenda wakaiendesha Yesu amefuka Yesu you hai na kuanzia mahali pale mambo yakabadilika hata hii miaka yenye tunahesabu hii hii inaitwa AD after death yote kale ndio ikageuka ikawa inatazama kuanzia kufa na kuzaliwa na kufuka kwa Yesu mpaka mahali tulipo ndio sababu tunaitwa the 2022 after the death of Jesus Christ praise the name of the lord the same reason ndio inafanya kanisa tunaabudu on a sunday na tuabudu sunday kwa sababu ya kuabudu siku tunaabudu sunday in recognition and celebration ya kufufuka kwa mwokozi wetu Yesu Kristo. Kuanzia siku hiyo ibada zilibadilika. Ibada za Wakristo ni za kila siku. Utamwona Petro na Yohana in Acts chapter 4 akienda kwa ibada kila siku saa tisa Kila siku ni siku ya ibada. Ni siku ya kumwabudu Mungu. Sio lazima uende mahali pa ibada ndio waabudu. Lakini Jumapili ilipewa special attention kwa sababu ni siku ambayo Mungu alimfufua Yesu kutoka kabrini. And that's why we are here today. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Now, kanisa lilianza kujipanga. Wakristo wakaanza kujipanga jinsi ya kuendelea, jinsi ya kutana pamoja. Ndio maandiko yamesema hapo Roma takatifu atakuja the day of Pentecost. Ye Petro akihubiri injili, na Petro alihubiri akieleza watu, yani alikuwa ametendeka. Na pale pale Biblia inasema kwamba Roma takatifu akashuka toka mbinguni. Akaangukia wale walikuwa naomba kwenye vichwa vyao kama ndini za moto na kuanzia mahali pale watu wakaongea katika lugha za kumtukuza Mungu wakatangaza matendo ya Bwana na the bible records kila mtu aliyekuja kusikiliza yale alikuwa anasema alisikia habari njema kwa masikio yake mwenyewe hapo ndiye analetanga shida na pentecostalism sababu pentecostalism will tell you that that day of pentecost watu waliongea kwa lugha za glossolalia ambayo ni hizo hizo tongues no they did not speak in those tongues tongues zilikuja baadaye baada lakini siku hiyo lugha yenye iliongeleshwa watu walikuwa wanaongea ya kwamba Yesu aliyesulubishwa amefufuka na yuko hai walikuwa wanaongea maneno yenye yanasikika kwa masikio ya watu na ukiangalia siku ya pentecost watu wote wenye walikuja hapo nje walisikia habari njema kwa lugha zao kila mtu aliongea kwa lugha yake maneno ya lugha yake na watu wakasikia chenye tulikuwa tunasemwa hata African continent iliakilishwa na Egypt iliakilishwa na North Africa kulikuwa na mataifa mawili yenye iliakilisha Africa kusikia good news of our Lord Jesus Christ Amen. you need to know the word of god yes. creating an environment for growth unajua tukiweka confusion katika mazingira ya kukua pia tutajibu mbele za Mungu We don't need to put confusion anywhere. The word of God is clear and the word of God is clean. Praise the name of Jesus. Na neno la Mungu mazingira yakatengenezwa. Watu elfu tatu and by the way, the 3000 men when you are recorded in Acts chapter 2. Sio 3000 watu. The 3000 wanaume. Wanaume wanomi kama mimi. Ndio hao wanaitwa ni Greek suke. Wanaume acha nifanye hesabu kidogo. Penye wanaume wako elfu tatu Men wanaume wa sauti kama yangu elfu tatu Guess kidogo. Wanawake wako hapo ndani. Wako hapo ndani. Wanajua siku hii aguko anaishi sheria kali kali ya kwamba wao mmoja. Ulikuwa unaweza hata kuwa tano. Sasa pati yako tu kila mwanaume mmoja mmoja waka hapo wa mama wangapi haya imefika sababu ya tunaweza kuzita unafikiri penye wanaume na mababa wako hakuna watoto si hata hapo mnanyonyesha tu direct watoto wako walikuwa watoto wangapi hapo haya huku piga hesabu hiyo ndio umati yenye petro alihubiria injili hakukuwa na microphone lakini roho wa Mungu alihakisha neno limeingia kwa masikio yao wanaume wapatao elfu tatu the bible says wakaokoka na wakabatizwa na wakawa jamii ya waamini that is why glory baptist church is the home of believers acts 244 maombi yetu ni yeyote anayekuja glory baptist church apate nafasi ya kuitwa muumini 
Apate nafasi ya kuitwa mwana wa Mungu. Hata wale wamekuja wote today, maombi yetu ni kwamba Mwenyezi Mungu awape neema na nafasi ya kuitwa jamii ya wana wa Mungu. Praise the name of the Lord. Na immediately how watu walihitaji mazingira. Walihitaji watengenezewe an environment ambayo itasaidia wao waendelee kukua katika kiroho. Ndio chapter 2 and verse 42 imesema na jamii ya waamini wote walikuwa pamoja wakishiriki vitu vyote walivyopewa pamoja wakaleta mali yao pamoja neno ambalo tumehubiriwa lile ambalo lilifanyika hata na, na Yusufu na kina Barnabas wakaleta mali zao vile tumeleta hata sadaka zetu na vitu vyetu kama dhabihu kwa Mungu na wakaweka pamoja na bila nasema hakuna mtu hata mmoja aliyepungukiwa katika ushirika ule jina la Yesu sifa Masikini walikaa pamoja na matajiri. Matajiri walikaa na masikini. Wasio na kitu waliweza kusikia joto la kuwa na kitu. Walioenda shule walijisikia na wala jenda shule. Jamii ya kwanza wakaweka mazingira mazuri yaliyoaccommodate kila mmoja katika kumucha Mungu. Pigia Bwana Yesu makofi mazuri. Glory Baptista. Hatujaitwa na Mungu kuhubiri injili eneo hili. Bora kuhubiri injili. Ni lazima tuweke an environment mazingira ambayo kila mmoja anaweza pata nafasi ya kumucha Mwenyezi Mungu. Mimi ninapoona kile kinafanyika leo. Ya kwamba wale wote including my sister here. Akisema mimi ni rafiki yenu. Mimi sijakuja hapa for alone. Nisienda kanisa akina Musalia. Ati ulipatikana kwa nyumba you have come. That is a blessing to the Lord. We must give out an environment yenye watu watamwabudu Mungu na kufanya mapenzi ya Jehova. I let me tell you church, are you ready for this? Kanisa sio tu ndani ya hiyo nyumba. Kanisa sasa ndio hili. Ukiangalia maandiko ya tumesoma leo, the Bible does not say waliendanga kanisa hii na wakaenda kanisa hii. Kanisa lilikuwa kutoka nyumba ya ndugu fulani wanaenda nyumba ya dada fulani. Jumapili jayo kwa nyumba ya ndugu fulani. Ikifika katikati ya wiki kwa nyumba ya ndugu. That is how they were moving na kanisa la Bwana. Biblia imesema nini the last verse na Bwana akazidisha kanisa kwa wale walikuwa wanampokea Yesu. Kanisa Yesu hakusema kaeni hapo watu wakujie nini. And then ulimwenguni kote mkaweze kuwafikia wale. Jina la Yesu lipee sifa. Na ninataka nikushukuru kwa kuwa sehemu ya wale wamefanya kazi hiyo. An environment was to be created for these people to, to worship the Lord, to adore him, to glorify him. Now, for us to create that environment, a commitment is required. Amen. Commitment is required. Hello? Hello. Commitment is required. Yes. Hali ya kujitolea. Hali ya kuweza kujipeana. And in an area whereby you can sacrifice yourself, you give yourself. When Pastor Ann came in, amepata washiriki wetu huko. Na ninasikia wakati wameingia hapa aliwapea lift. Walisema na huku kote tungefikaje? Asante kwa kujitokezea na kutusaidia kufika. Ninajua kufika hapa it's also a commitment. There is the name of the Lord. Now, I want to give you commitment to three things. Commitment number one yenye ilifanya the early church ikaweka mazingira ambayo ilifanya Mungu akatukuzwa it was commitment to the teachings of the word of God amen. somebody say amen. amen commitment to the teachings of the word of God inaitwa being committed to the doctrine amen. neno la Mungu halina mchanganyiko halina mambo yenye haieleweki linaeleweka mkristo mazingira na hii mazingira yenye nazungumzia today Sio mazingira tu ya kanisa group. Inaanza na wewe mtu individual alafu inaenda kwa watu wote. You need to reach to a position whereby you can commit yourself to the teachings of the word of God. Amen. Wewe binafsi. Ujipatiane, useme ya kwamba nitakuwa mwanafunzi wa neno. Nitajifundisha neno la Mungu. Nitasikiliza neno la Mungu. Nitasoma neno la Mungu. Nitaenda kanisani kwa ibada. A commitment to the teachings of the word of God. The early church committed themselves to the teachings of the apostles. Mafundisho ambayo mitume walikuwa wanapeana, wakajipeana kwao. Wanaposikia fundisho neno la Mungu asema tutakuja, tutakuja ibada, 
tutakuja mafundisho tutakuja kusikiliza neno la Mungu na tutafuata neno la Mungu Mkristo mwenzangu hutaweza kuona mazingira ya kusaidia wewe kukua kama Mkristo usipojipatiana kwa neno give yourself to the word of god and you will find yourself growing you will find yourself expanding you will find yourself serving the lord watu wote wenye wako hapa hakuna mtu ambaye hawezi tumikia mungu kila mmoja una nafasi yake ya kumtumikia mungu but key to that kujipeana kwa neno give yourself to the word of god leo hii jana tumekuwa na nafasi ya kusambaza injili katika ngeli hapana wapota tu hiyo karatasi ya kusema eh hey, angalia ndani hiyo karatasi inasema nini Angalia ndani hiyo mambo gani yameandikwa huko ndani yatakusaidia kupiga hatua ya kusonga mbele. Wanafunzi wa kwanza na wakristo wa kwanza walijipeana kwa mafundisho ya neno la Mwenyezi Mungu. Ukisoma katika Ibrania 4 mstari ule wa 12 Biblia inazungumzia kwamba there is a great need ya kila mkristo kuelewa kwamba neno la Mungu lina nini. In Hebrews chapter 4 and verse 12. Ukisoma verse 12 and 13 the Bible says For the word of God is, a, is alive and active. It is sharper than any double-edged sword. It penetrates even to dividing soul and spirit. Praise the name of Jesus. Unaona hata huyu Mkristo amejipeana kwa neno la Mungu. Linaanza kumsaidia, linaanza kuondoa mila na desturi na vitu ambavyo vimekufunga. Neno la Mungu linaondoa ndani yako. Linaanza kukufanya kuwe Mkristo ambaye unaweza simama katika neno la Mungu. It divides the soul and even the spirit, joints and even marrow. It judges the thoughts and attitudes of the heart. Don't wait to be judged by anyone. The word of God can help you. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. And verse 13 says nothing in all creation is hidden from God's sight. Everything is uncovered and laid bare before the eyes of him to whom we must give account. Amen. Give yourself to the word of God. Amen. Give yourself to the study of the word of God. Give yourself to the doctrine the word that can make you equipped linaweza kukusaidia na likakuwezesha katika nafasi ya kumtumikia Mwenyezi Mungu first timothy chapter 4 verse 7 and 8 the bible says paul akaambia timothy hii yenye nakwambia commit yourself to the word of god akamwambia timotheo have nothing to do with godless myth and old wise tales hadithi zenye hazina mwelekeo vile mhubiri wa leo by the way nibariki sana mhubiri wa 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 scripture yetu ya mwaka huu ya timu yetu ya mwaka huu was Full peace and growth. Alikuwa na Mrs. Godi. That was good. I was happy to hear that. There is what we can give ourselves to. Na jioni unaweza ukajipeana kwa hadithi tu na maneno na vitu. Paulo aliambia Timotheo jiondoe kwa hadithi za wanawake na maneno yenye aina maana. Na akamwambia kwamba jipatiane kwa neno la Mungu. Alisema but give yourself to godliness because godliness has value for all things. Amen. Did you hear that? Yes. Godliness has what? value for all things it is not just the end it holds a promise for both the present life and the life to come wakati unajipeana kwa neno la Mungu umejipeana kwa maisha sahihi na hata maisha ya jai you have a life today and you have life in the future secondly it is required to give ourselves commitment to the fellowship with one another very important hello mwana wa Mungu please Jifundishe sana kukua na commitment ya ushirika mmoja na mwingine. Commitment to fellowship with one another. You cannot do things alone in this world. And you will never make it alone. And I want you to hear this. Are you ready for this? Yes. Unajua shetani usiku na mchana. Kama kuna jambo lenye ibilisa anatumia usiku na mchana, akitaka kushika wewe ni kukutenga na ushirika. I repeat it again. Ibilisi akitaka kupambana na maisha yako, kila atafanya tu ni kukutenga na ushirika. Atatumia mbinu zozote. Atatumia mazungumzo yoyote. Atakuonyesha hata anaweza kukuonyesha tu kwa ibada ya leo. Inaonekana bishop anipendi. Jamani, mimi nimesema kwa ninachukia nani hapa? Nani nimesema kwa mimi nachukia? Hata anaweza tu kukuambia, tuliona. Hata wamesema wataenda peke yao na mimi wataniaje. Hiyo kanisa hata. Jamani. Umesikia hiyo inaitwa high table, haitoshi wote. Hello. Ndio nasema tukuridhika hiyo ni high table. Praise the name of the Lord. 
Ndio unajua Mkristo anasema useme namna gani? Pasta wangu akikula mimi nimekula. I'm serious. Wewe unasema kama pasta wangu amekula nimekula. Lakini leo ukisema mpaka. Mpaka. Eh? Anaweza tumia mbinu zozote. Hata leo hii anaweza panda tu bebi yote na mwana. Yaani yaa. Eh? Muona vile tumekaa kaa hapo. Tumekaa kaa hapo. Tumechomwa anajua. Na hata hujachomwa anajua mimi ndio anachomwa. Hmm? Kati ya wewe ndio alispeaking na mimi. Si mimi ndio anachomwa anajua. Na haki zinalamiki mimi nasema jua ni la Mungu. Na ninashukuru kwa sababu leo ningekuwa ndani ya ile nyumba singekuwa na hii privilege ya kuota jua leo. I thank God. The devil anatafutanga chochote. Na ukijikuta tu shetani amekuondoa, yani umeondoka kwa ushirika. Sio huyo ndugu yako, sio huyo dada yako, ni shetani. I repeat it again. Sio hiyo maneno ya jua kidanga, adui anakuanga nani? Shetani. Na unasaini uelewe hiyo mbinu. Shetani hawezi taka kwa sababu ukiwa kwa ushirika, utasonga mbele. Ndugu atakutia moyo, ndugu atakuombea, ndugu atakusaidia. Kanisa la kwanza they committed themselves to fellowship with one another. Amen. Ninaomba hiyo iwe declaration. Ya kwamba you will commit yourself to fellowship with one another. It will help you. It will be a blessing to your life. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. Watu watasimama na wewe watakusaidia. Eh? Siku moja katika mkoa wa Judea. I remember very well. Iko mtoto mmoja alikuwa kwa Sunday school yetu. Anashiriki ibada kila Jumapili mtoto huyu mvua inyeshe zinyeshe walikuwa wanataka kwa mlima hapa juu. Very young girl, she was in class 7 by then, 6 7 around there. She used to come. Paka kanisa lote linamjua kama hao wenye wanaimba hapa mbele hao. Wa mama na wababa wanamuona, wanajua huyu mtoto vile anafanya mambo hapa. When ilifika kipindi najua Mungu ndio peana maisha. Mungu alichukua huyu mtoto Tuliambiwa tu kama kesho msichana huyo amefariki. Mimi hata sijaweka hesabu ya mipango ya huyo mtoto. Kuna wale walikuwa wamekimbia kama akina Kevin na Elmemo, nyinyi ndio mlipanda hii mlima. Mkaweka huyo mtoto kwa gari mkapeleka kwa Ugongoma. Wamama wameshikana katika ya fulani wamesema kwamba tunaenda. Kwa sababu huyu baba na mama hawakuwa naenda reserve na walio wanakuwa na maneno yao. Kama wendangi reserve wanasema sasa tutamuona na hiyo mambo yake ya tabu. Baba wakasema hata kaburi ya tuchimi. Hata nina kufanya. Na kumuka akina Dani hii. Mlitoka tauni na majembe. Mliingia pale. Wamekaa kwa mandizi mandizi wanatuangalia angalia kando. Tumebeba. Pasta ana alikuwa mbeba paka jikoni yake everything. Na chakula chetu. Hamtupei jikoni, tukaweka mawe pale pakoni. Hamchimi jimo. Akina Dikon waliingia nani ya jimo? Tulichimba jimo, tukahubiri njili tukatangaza injili na kumbuka nienda na askofu ngure tulikuwa tumepa sababu alikuwa na connection na mume wake na school and all this we preach the gospel tulisindikisha mtoto wetu tukatoka hapo ameaibika kwa mandizi wa kumba hata wa town wanajuanga maneno yao tulikula paka wakatuomba hata vyakula vyenye tulikuwa tumepika watu wa kumbaka kama muka hapo mrekebisha maneno walio wangu nyi eh watu wamekaa tu kuna wengine wa town na wengine wa reserve hata na sisi wa town sikio tuliwaonyesha tunakuanga na mpango haleluya ninasema nini commit yourself to fellowship with one another unaona wewe mtu nakaa naye huyu ni wa maana sana hiyo lakini wachana na hata watu wa kwenu risafu saa hii huyu jirani unaishi na yeye ni wa maana huyu mshiriki unaenda na yeye kanisa ni wa maana leo hii ukipatwa na shida ana nafasi ya kukusaidia leo hii wewe ukipatwa na shida mimi ninaweza simama na wewe kabla watu wako wa reserve kukuja mimi naweza nikakusaidia. Praise the name of Jesus. Ninaweza. Kwa hivyo kana wenzako vizuri. Kanisa la kwanza watu walijipeana kwa ushirika. Na wana wa Mungu tunapookoka, please tumepewa sheria moja. Love one another. Support one another. Encourage one another. Ukiona mwenzako ana upungufu wote msaidie. Hapana simama kando na kusema neno lenye alisaidii. Tusaidiane, tusongeshane mbele, tunaweza saidiana in the name of Jesus. Praise the name of Jesus. The early church committed themselves to fellowship with one another. Praise the name of the Lord. When we come together as as children of God, we worship him. Our spiritual nature inaanza kusonga mbele. Tunakuwa na nafasi ya kuwa encouraging one another. 
we we find people whom we can walk with rafika ambaye naweza zungumza na yeye yesterday was celebrating a friend ambaye alinisaidia praise the name of jesus ndugu tu katika kristo nikajuana na yeye na tukaanza kuomba na yeye tukaanza kuzungumza na yeye maneno siku moja akaniambia kuja ndugu yangu kuna jambo hapa tunaweza fanya pamoja na alinisaidia hata nami nikajikuta nimepiga hatua kwa maisha huyu ndugu umekaa naye anaweza kukusaidia anaweza bwana majesha asifiwe na upendo wa undugu wa ukristo ni tofauti sana ndugu yako wa, wa kuzaliwa atakusaidia na ataongea maneno lakini ndugu mkristo anakusaidia kama kumtumikia Mungu atajipeana kwa moyo wako na atasimama na wewe kwa miaka 26 tumehubiri njili tumeona tumeona tumekutana na watu ambao walikuwa na matatizo watu ambao wangekubalika but because of the fellowship of Christ wakaitwa ni watu hello are you hearing what i'm saying praise the name of the lord commit yourself to the fellowship with one another wacha ndugu asikie uko na yeye dada asikie uko na yeye finally i'm saying commitment to working and serving god together did you hear that commitment to working and serving god together the early church committed themselves walijipeana kwa kufanya kazi na kumtumikia Mungu pamoja unajua dunia imejaa competitions the world dunia peke yake ndio ina mashindano ni kushinde unishinde ama nishindwe unishinde lakini kwa, kwa nyumba ya Mungu hakuna mambo ya mashindano kwa nyumba ya Mungu ni kumtumikia Bwana praise the name of the lord mimi ninafanya sehemu yangu, wewe unafanya sehemu yako, yule mwingine anafanya sehemu yake na sifa zinamrudia Mwenyezi Mungu. Hiyo ndio advantage tuna katika nyumba ya Mungu. Na kwa nyumba ya Mungu hakuna hati mwenye ndiyo sana, wakati kati nyuma sote ni watenda kazi pamoja na Bwana Yesu Kristo. Please commit yourself to working and serving the Lord together. Jipatiane. Ukiona mwenzako akifanya kitu, nimeona hapa ndugu yangu anaitwa Enoch Eh? Ako hapa na anapiga macho. Ako kwa hii baada na kina anaona karatasi ikianguka kidogo amejitokeza, anaenda anatengeneza. Nikaona paka amefika pale mbele, akaona kwamba hiyo maji na sisi juu weko chini, weko nini. Commit yourself to working with one another. Hello. I know what to tell you right now. Nimesema na battery you do what? Commit yourself to working or serving with one another. Unaona ukiingia kwa kanisa kama saa hii na hapa ni mahali pazuri. Hata hii kartasi yangu nimeishika vizuri. Sababu ninajua upepo inaweza peperusha ikapeleka hapa kwa ile mlima. Take for example hii kartasi tomoke kwa mikono yako. Kuna ule anaweza tu kwanza nyinyi wenye mko pande hii, kwa wazuri ikienda huko, sababu kwa naenda huko. Kuna ule tu ataangalia imeenda. Na imeanguka. Alafu anarudisha macho kwangu. Sasa utafanyaje imeenda? Ni moja wetu tu hapa. Na kuna mwingine anaweza kutomoka hivi, na yeye pia anamuka, anaanza kufuatana naye. Yuko wapi? Yuko wapi? Na leta na ikamata, ana ileta ndio hii. Wewe unataka wa kuangalia ime? Kama ndio kwenda kuiona. Mtu wa tatu unajua anafanya nini? Anaweza tu kwa amekaa kwa kitu. Niende, nisiende. Niende, nisiende. No, we need to commit ourselves to working together. Praise the name of Jesus. To make what you find a kazi. Find a kitu. Then you can also on a kana. Katika hii maisha kuna kitu inaitwa legacy. Wewe habari ukitoka katika dunia hii kuna kitu kinaweza onekana ya kwamba kilifanywa mtu alifanya kitu fulani. Commit yourself katika kufanya kitu. Kenye kinaweza semekana kweli hakuna. Hello. Praise the name of the Lord. Do you know sometimes kuna mtu anaweza hata kosa kwa kanisa na hata kanisa haijui. Am I saying something? Do you know unaweza pick up and kwa church na hata mtu hajui umepiga up and na tukisema na umeona ule ndugu John please say me where John mwenye ukam just in the name umeona John leo kwa church John ndio nani ndio ngani unasikia tunasema uonangu ule mtu anakuwa mrefu mfupi kichwa imekaa yani hata uelewi 
Aueleweka wakujui. Inabidi waeleze hata mimi nitasema pele kako mimi kwake ndio nimjui. Lakini kuna mtu tu anaweza kuzekana tu pa. Hata leo. Na watu wote wanasema tumeona hayuko. Tumemwona hayuko. Unajua nini inafanya mtu anatambulika? Kufanya kazi pamoja na wenzake. Huduma, utendaji wa kazi ndio unafanya uonekane. Bwana asifiwe. Kwa hivyo usiruhusi yeyote ambaye anakuambia waacha kujitokeza, waacha kujionyesha, jitokeze. Praise the name of the Lord. Hey, kwani ukumbuki kiwi ikiambiwa jitokeze jionyeshe? Eh? Muta akisha chapa rangi kwa kiatu alafu anaweza hebu jitokeze, jionyeshe. Mbele ya nani? So, hata Yesu anataka jitokeze, jionyeshe. Wewe uko imara mbele Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. Jitokeze, pana ukopa. Onekana wewe unatumikia Mwenyezi Mungu. Wacha ijulikane unamsifu Yesu. Kipawa chako kina uwezo wa kuhakikisha umetambulika. Praise the name of Jesus. Uko katika nafasi ambayo inaweza kukusaidia. Wewe ni mtu wa maana, wewe ni mtu wa nguvu, unaweza onekana ukatumika. Kuna siku moja mhubiri mmoja alizungumza na akawa anatukemea tukiwa vijana akasema kama mkatae alitumia neno mkatae msikue wale wanaitwa kwamba bench warmers in the church wakati wakuwa na mambo ya hivi keti tunakalia kila kanisa ilikuwa inatengeneza bench 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 na zilikuanga bench za tabu ni kabench kenye kanaweka mguu mguu na miti tu so ukikaa unakaanga attention kwa sababu kanaweza kuweka nyuma ama kuweka mbele sasa wakasema mkatae uto tu vitu don't be bench warmers in the church make sure kama kijana ukiwa ndani ya church do something in the church. Fanya kitu kanisani. Na nakumbuka wakati huo tukachemuka, tukaanza kufanya fanya vitu tunapofanya. Kidogo unaona pastor wake anaangalia anasema huyu kijana anaweza ongoza ibada. Huyu kijana anaweza tumwa uingilisi. Huyu kijana anaweza fanya kitu fulani. Pole pole hivyo hivyo tukaona neema ikisonga ikisonga ikisonga. Praise the name of the Lord. Hata wale kwa mfano kama wale Jumapili mliniweza mnataka kuwa mapastors. Watu wazali wangu na kuwa mapastors. Tulibeba mabagi za mapastors. Praise the name of the Lord. Ukitaka kuwa pastor wa church, anza kubebea Biblia ya pastor ukipeleka kubiri. Hiyo. Hapo ndio penye upako unapatikania. Sasa ile anaenda kuhubiri unabe? Unajua unapotembea na nabii unapata hiyo upako sasa. Sasa hilo unaona akienda kusijui kufanya nini unaenda na yeye. Akienda uinjilisi unaenda naye. Lakini sasa kama mimi ninakesha Friday na wewe umejinyoresha ndani ya blanket, haki, haki, haki. Hata uzembe, hata uombe mbingu. Hakuna. Unazaidi ukeshe na mimi, uombe na mimi ndio na tap grace ya kumtumikia Mungu. Nikienda mission unasema nami nitakuwa kama mwingine ananiambia siku nyingine. Niambia mimi nataka sije sijikunje tu sijii wapi hapa. Sasa hilo naenda tena mimi naendea tu hapa hapa. Na baadhi ya juzi historia imevunjika katika dunia hii. Kuna mtu alipatikana amepanda ndege from Nairobi mpaka Amsterdam. Na alipanda kwa hoteli mpaka. Sasa ile ndege ilishuka juu ni Dubai. Na alikuwa mkenya na wakenya mna bituko. Hata nishanga utakaje huko juu na ndege toka ndio mkenya hata tu Dubai inaenda juu juu ya ajabu. Na mtu alikaa kwa mkuu atai na hapo ndege inashuka Amsterdam jamaa ngali na alitoa hapo hapo. Wakenya nini wanakuwa? Hata nyanga hewa alitoa wapi? Kwa sababu ikifika huko juu, hii ma, hii hewa tunapumua hapa hakuna huko kwenye ndege iko huko juu. Hata I don't know how he survived. I don't know. Na nafikiri huyu jamaa tayari ameweka historia. Ameweka tunaona so, tunamzungumzia hata hapa leo. Tunamuongelea kwa nini? Angenyamaza tu kwa mizigo hapa Nairobi unafikiri ana angemjua? Eh? Na alipoanguka tu pale alipelekwa pia kwa hospitali ya hali ya juu. Angani hai? Kwa sababu huko juu hata hewa na baridi peke yake yeye yuko huko juu saa ile ndege inakimbia 8000 km per hour plus. Unaweza survive na magari, but jamaa alichomoza kwa mguu ya ndege. <laughs> Fanya kitu. Fanya kitu. Hello. Fanya kitu kwa hii maisha Mungu amekupa hata ujulikani. Nimeona watu wakipewa soya sijui wote ni kakamega juice. Kijana mmoja amechomoka tu inji hii ya kwamba yeye atakimbia 100 meters. Na 100 meters hizi Kenya hatuni. Huko Rift Valley tunakwanga na wale long long distance. Eh. Baadhi ya mama amechomoka tu from school. Jamaa anafanya mazoezi ya kufunja hivi. 100 anachomoka hivyo watu wampati. 
amevunja juzi rekodi ya, ya Afrika. Niliona akizawadiwa huku. Unaweza hata kimbia na ukajulikana wewe mmoja. Ninaongea na wa Kenya. Anaitwa nani huyo kijana? Unamjua? Unaweza na ninafuata maneno yake na yule jamaa anakimbia na baya alikuja hapa zijini wapi hapa hapa katikati wa Skarsale. Hapo ndiye anafaa vituko vyake msituni msituni. Sasa ndio huyu hako kwa record. Sawa? Hiyo ni tam- record ya dunia. Fanya kazi ya Mungu. Bingu zikutambue. Hata bingu zijua hata wewe unaweza fanya kitu. Hata wewe unatumikia Mungu. Kanisa la kwanza walijipeana kwa kufanya kazi ya Mungu na huduma ya Mungu pamoja. Binguni nataka niongee prophetically as I finish. Binguni hakuna taji ya kuokoka na kuwa Mkristo. Iko taji ya kumtumikia Mungu. Iko. Na tulipookoka, tuliimba hizo nyimbo, nikimaliza kazi, nitabalishwa taji. Sasa kazi gani umemaliza uvalishwe taji? Fanya kazi, uvalishwe taji. Praise the name of Jesus. I am saying create an environment for your personal Christian growth and even Christian growth for others. Praise the name of Jesus. What is required to be done katika hiyo hali neno la Mungu isibariki. Kuwa mwanafunzi wa neno. Hakuna kitu kingine kitatuweka sisi pamoja. Ni neno la Mwenyezi Mungu. Neno hili nimeliona linaweza kutanisha we mkenya, naweza kutanisha we na Mwafrika mwingine, naweza kutanisha we na mtu mwingine na mtu mwingine. The word of God. The word of God can bind us and bring us together. Fellowship is very important. Usidharau Mkristo mwenye unaabudu na yeye na yeye tembea na yeye shirikiana na yeye ukienda huko kazini ongea na Wakristo wenzako saidia watu wa mjue Mwenyezi Mungu na na mwisho tufanye kazi ya Bwana pamoja haleluya kama umesikia ile nimesema simama kwa mjue wako tuombe kwa moja kama umesikia na kama unjasikia pia you can remain at peace and the Lord will help you haleluya mimi i am blessed that we can create such environment yenye watu wanaweza kumwabudu Mungu na wakaona furaha ya Bwana. We thank God for today. We celebrate him, we adore him. He's a good God, he's a loving father. Anayetupenda, aliye na mipango mizuri na maisha yetu. Tunampenda, tunamwabudu, tunamtukuza huyo Mungu wetu na Baba wetu wa Israeli. Takwimbo hiyo hutawala maisha yao. Kwa sababu ni Yesu akitawala, tunasaidika maisha yetu. Tunasaidia kwa njia zetu. Haleluya, we give you praise. Ninyi watu mko nako bwana, mshukuru, mwambie thank you for today. Thank you Father, we adore you, we give you praise. Thank you King of Glory. We love you, my Father. Thank you. Thank you Lord.
niokoke Yesu achukue kwa wana wa maisha yangu nitakupaa hiyo nafasi niombe pamoja na wewe nani anasema nataka Yesu aniokoe siku ya leo Huko kwa ibada hii yes Yesu atumpe na wako nitaomba na wewe yes 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 Yesu anampenda baba simama kwa wako yes Thank you thank you ya pima mafuta hapo Yesu akusaidie kwa nani ndio anasema nataka Yesu amuokoe leo Nataka Yesu aingie kwa maisha yako akupe maisha yako na mwingine Nani mwingine anasema nataka Yesu amuokoe leo thank you Jesus thank you king of glory basi tufunge macho yetu tuombe sema bwana Yesu na kushukuru siku ya leo kwa kuniletea neno lako mimi ninakubali nimetenda ndani na ninatubu dhambi zangu zote Yesu Kristo ingia ndani ya maisha yangu uniokoe unifanye kiumbe kipya futa jina langu kwa vitabu vya jehana na uniandike katika kitabu cha uzima kuanzia leo nimeamini na nimeokoka amen baba kwa jina la Yesu na kuweza roho mtakatifu naja mbele zako kwa shukrani kwa sababu ya hawa watoto wako unawajua unawatambua unawafahamu baba uishie milele ninajua una uwezo wa kuokoa na kubadilisha maisha haya neno lako halikuja pande hii bure ewe bwana nilikuja nikutane na nafsi kama hizi na bwana unatuambia kwa maana jinsi hii uliupenda ulimwengu na mtoa mwana wako pekee kila mtu anaye kuamini asipotee bali awe na uzima milele siku ya leo kama kanisa tunawaleta hawa mkono ni mwako baba uwakumbuke uwasaidie kuanzia siku ya leo bwana ukawaokoa neema yako iwe juu ya maisha yao tunawafunika kwa damu ya Yesu Kristo. Chochote cha kuwarejesha nyuma tunakataa katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Tunajua wakati watu wanaamua kukufuata wewe Yesu, kuna maroho za kuvuta nyuma kila wakati. Na tumesikia hiyo roho ikijitangaza mahali hapo. Niliokoka nikarudi nyuma. Niliamua nikarudi nyuma. Siku ya leo tunaifunga katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Tunatangaza hawa utawalinda utawasimamisha mfano asante Mungu wetu baba uishie milele nataka kuombea hata na wote ambao wamesimama mahali hapa siku ya leo wakisema kwamba Mungu umewapata tena na wakasema kwamba hawatarudi nyuma tena ninawaombea na kuainua mikono mwao utukuzwe usifiwe mwokozi kwa sababu wewe ndiwe unayerudisha hata wale ambao wamerejea nyuma na waombea uwasimamishe ukumbuke maisha yao na uyatetee kwa jina la Yesu mwokozi wetu tumeomba na sote tuseme amen. amen thank you jesus saa yetu imeenda tulianza ibada yetu kuchelewa kidogo labda umekuja kanisa leo na una jambo ambalo ungependa Mwenyezi Mungu akusaidie special nataka ukuja hapa mbele usha